Um, follow your dreams. Yeah. What is up, Virgo? Welcome to your February 2024 reading here. I'm going to start um, your reading with um, a card from this oracle right here just to see what kind of energy we're going to be in. Okay, here we go. Can I get the best um, card for Virgo when it comes to the February energy? Whoa, that one popped out. And I think somebody already had this one. Yeah. Look, it matches. That's what I said. I think who had this one? Aries, I believe. Um, it matches my background, which is pretty cool. The spark of hustle. The spark of hustle. I'm going to read that for you. Um, Virgo, real quick. Number 17. One plus seven is eight. That's a very powerful number. Where is it? There we go. The spark of hustle. Essential meaning, the spark of inspiration, divine intervention, finding your calling, work that makes you happy, renewed hope. And, you know, it renewed hope is, is like pretty big. It stands out pretty big for you, for me, for you, um, Virgo, um, because the sun is rising here. I don't know if you can see it. The sun is rising um, in this card. It has like what it looks like a sun and it's, it has an arrow going up so anything that is positive like you're, you're getting this uh, this uh you're getting like this this energy this that is rising this positive energy growth this again hope right that things are getting better things are looking better i'm gonna see what um the tarot wants to say too virgo here okay first card i got for you is um six of one so whatever it is that you're doing right now um it's looking pretty good there's success even though um you might not feel like you're successful to other people you look amazing okay to other people you look really good um six of ones is overall success so whatever you've been working on um it's 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 flourishing it's working people are noticing right if you notice the ones here in the back those are people looking at you so you're being put in the spotlight kind of you're becoming you're becoming a little bit more popular maybe there's a little bit of um you know um interest and in, uh, for you in social media but we have um this idea of success in work in home right um and pretty much anything you do any hobby you do it's like you you you've you've been connecting you've been looking good people have been you know um looking at your posts looking at your social media just to see what you're doing they're interested in you um it could also be i always say it could also be that just uh those workouts you've been doing you can tell now like it's showing you feel very comfortable but you want more right but you feel like yeah it's it's working people are noticing the changes um here in february and we have the um the magician here which is another card of virgo the magician is a pretty good energy to have it means that you know what what the um what the universe wants to tell you is that um, you have all the tools at your disposal and whatever you want to work towards, whatever you want to, you know, achieve, it's possible. All you have to do is bring yourself and do the work, like do the work because you have the energy of the ethers, right? The magic, you have the magic up here and you have all the tools, the one, the cup, the sword, um, the pentacle, and all you got to do is bring yourself and put in the work, um, I am not a tarot reader that is going to tell you that by you doing um, some kind of um, weird ritual, you're going to achieve something. I think it, it, it's it, I think life is putting action towards it and having a vision and going th that way. Right. Um, I don't know why I want to say that. It's kind of weird that I've mentioned. I don't really associate myself with like. Um, rituals any kind of ritual or you know like black magic and stuff like that i really i'm not 
that one te uh, terror reader um i don't believe in stuff like that i don't believe anybody can take your power um i think you generate your own power and you choose how much power to put out and and or how much power you want to suppress right like i believe that deep down and i don't let anything or anyone you know take that away from me um life is difficult life is gonna be um life is gonna be um li life is gonna have ups and downs it's never a it's never a perfect life it's never like everything's good for you so you you gotta understand that nobody's against you it's just life you know when you're going through like hard hard times um i, I have so we do have that energy of the magician and then we have the eight of swords eight of swords is a energy of feeling kind of stuck in your own head your own mind your own thoughts it's like what you want to create will bring you a lot of success it's something that you know in your heart you can do if you put your 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 mind to it um whatever it is that you're trying to achieve whether it's love success um i don't know uh, popularity or whatever <laughs> it's like it's possible but i feel like you have these thoughts that keep you or prevent you from achieving um what you want and the funny thing is like something about the you know the the human experience one of the most important things is in this life is how we talk to ourselves is how you talk to yourself like if you have if your friends are telling you that you're capable of doing or being somebody bigger than who you are right now and you're telling yourself no i can't no this is this is where i'm at this is my limit this is where i'm gonna stay then that's where you're gonna stay because you're telling yourself you don't see it in yourself the most important life lessons in this lifetime is that you have to believe in yourself because your life is unique because your gift is unique because your gift is different than others because it's not about my life is going differently than this other person who we went to school together this other person is already a doctor and look at me i don't have anything we're not meant to compare lives we're meant to live our life to the fullest and embrace why we're here right embrace embrace that like we're we're trying to find our happiness because everybody lives in the same world but not everybody has the same life you know everybody lives in this world but everybody's gonna have different outcomes everybody's gonna choose different paths and that's the beautiful thing about life okay so we have to wake up to that we have to understand that life goes in every direction and where you pick to go is the outcome of certain scenarios in your life it's not gonna it's not gonna be where your life is gonna end because i've seen people you know people who are homeless succeed to being you know um successful millionaires and whatever um i've seen people that are millionaires go down and be homeless so life is you know you gotta make sure you're choosing the right path here virgo right and i'm not saying that you're gonna go homeless this is just an example right um so don't take it as oh my god what are you saying about my life because you might have a really good career you might have a good really good life um right now um especially with these two cards right here it says that career um social life and stuff like that is it's going really good and it's gonna get a lot better in february okay maybe i'm i just got maybe two months from now it's gonna be a lot better your life is gonna be a lot better you just gotta keep fighting okay i do have here that we have the um the ace of cups and let me tell you something um Virgo, I feel like I first. This is for. I keep bumping my nose on the microphone because everybody's sleeping and I'm not trying to wake up at, um, people here. <laughs> and it's like super early. Not necessarily. It's already kind of early, but um, we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a, a card of um, self love, right? But also a lot of love. So I feel like for some of you Virgos, the reason why you cannot see how strong you are or how how much uh of a difference you can make in your own life is because you're you, you you don't have love like maybe you 
if you don't have that one partner you're fixated in having a partner um i don't know a boyfriend girlfriend i don't know husband wife you you're you're fixated on that and because you keep thinking that you don't have that one person it becomes kind of stressful i would say even um somewhat of um anxious you become anxious just to think you don't have that person or you should think you cannot have that person and that kind of blocks everything here i think that's what spirit wants you to know it's like when when the heart listen love is an amazing energy it's something that we can um use to you know catapult or propel ourselves into success and into big things i've heard a lot of things about love like a lot of successful people have become even more strong and successful due to love because they wanted to impress the one person i remember um, hearing this story about this i can't remember which brand it was but this person had an idea right had this company but th that person that owned the company had a crush in his secretary right and he loved it when his secretary admired him and saw him as a very strong and powerful leader and you know business owner so he made all kinds of moves to impress the secretary to get that because i think low-key i think he was in love with the secretary and so he made this tiny little company into this humongous multi-million million company and that's back in the day you know i can't i don't think it was billions but it was in the millions but that was back in the days where a dollar will get you so much you know and he did that because all he wanted to get was you know he, all he wanted to do was to make his secretary smile or you know get that you know admiration from her um and just wanted to impress that one secretary he made all those moves and i think i don't know if they ended up together but i think loki he was in love with the secretary and um yeah i want you to uh, realize what's happening here there is a lot of potential but you cannot dwell on what you not what you don't have for a goal you cannot dwell on the love that you don't have as far as like the partnership right but um you know uh spirit wants you to um understand that self-love is a lot especially when you're on this energy right here kind of difficult energy kind of entrapped in your own thoughts self-love practice self-love practice um practice uh you know affirming yourself that you will be successful that you have all the power and strength that you can achieve love that you can attract love that you can be the one to be in a love uh, relationship okay because you have a lot to offer but don't over focus on why you don't have it or how come it's not working okay i do feel like you're ready you're ready to connect with someone you're ready to be in a committed relationship to invest in a relationship but you're also working on your you know you're also working on your career there's um something new happening in your career here in february okay um especially with the king of um coins here the king of pentacles let me see how love for the single um virgo hot love is going to be in february how love is going to be in february have conflicting energies here i do have a fire sign for you virgo aries little sagittarius um whether male or female i don't know whatever it is that you date you put it in right you insert um your um thing but i do have this um fire sign here that is gonna be um in your life in february or it's gonna be very important for you in february and by me saying that is um you might be interested or maybe there's a fire sign here that is interested we do have a lot of communication here i don't have a
I don't get an energy of it being physical. I get an energy of maybe just talking over an app or maybe talking over, um, I don't know, messaging, right? Emailing. And I feel like that's happening. I feel like it's kind of slow. We're building something. We're going somewhere, but it's very slow. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is here. And the only, the only reason I said they're conflicting is because they're both walking from each other. Like, so the energies are so out of this connection is so new that we don't know how to go. So it could be that um, there's a lot of talking, but not a not, but not we're not meeting in person there's a lot of talking but it's difficult to see us to see ourselves together at one point because because maybe there's distance or maybe there's um financial difficulties or it could be that career is different you know some of you could be dating like a flight attendant where they gotta fly all the time they gotta stay and they come back and you know it may be every two months Oh no, two weeks or maybe even two months you see them you're able to connect with them and you see you feel like this this might not actually work out for you okay you feel like maybe walking away from this maybe you know saying you know what it's just not gonna work out i'm sorry you're a pretty cool person but the the fact that it's not moving fast enough for me maybe that's what you're saying virgo it's not gonna work out i want you know i want a different type of um you know um relationship and i feel like you're not be you're not able to provide that for me i think that's what you're saying uh virgo okay because you are in your in your in your feelings like you're not letting anybody um take advantage of you especially with this this uh king of cups the king of cups energy is it's it's cool when when you're in control of your emotions but when you use your emotions to tell people what's going on with you or when you use your when when you're control uh when your when your emotions control you virgo is when it gets difficult because you become an arrogant person right people see you as oh so you you know you want something your way but you know what you're you think you're perfect that that's something that they might tell you right um but it's not like that you're perfect it's more like hey it's cool <laughs> i'm gonna look for something else you know like it's cool but it's not going to work out because it's just taking too long. I don't see a future here just yet. Like I, I see the possibilities, but I don't see us coming together at any time. Can I get one for Virgo, please? There it is. So you have the ace. So you have the ace of thought. This cheer up has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea. So there's a new idea that you're gonna have in February, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and truly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded dissuaded by little changes along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. That's what I got for you, um, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here. Like and subscribe. And I appreciate you. Keep fighting. <laughs> if you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. <laughs>